Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story, I'm actually live on Instagram on our Kid Short Stories Instagram where we just built a story together. It was pretty amazing and I think we have an amazing idea that we've come up with. A bunny named Sparkles and Bernie the Dragon. Are you guys ready for an amazing adventure with me? Me too, let's go! One day, Sparkles the bunny was just waking up. Oh, oh boy, it's so good to wake up. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Nothing will ever go wrong. Sparkles the bunny lived on an island in the middle of the ocean. And she was actually right. It was a beautiful day, but oh no. Something terrible is about to happen. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go down to the beach and uh, maybe go jump in the waves because today is going to be the best day ever! As Sparkles ran down to the beach, something terrible happened. Whoa! The ground started to shake and Sparkles... The fluffy bunny was knocked over right on her fluffy tail. Ouch! Well, it didn't hurt that much because she had a very fluffy tail. It was like landing on a pillow. So I don't know why she said ow. Ah! Where? What in the world was that? She said. It sounded like... Was there a monster? There must be a monster. Or was it an earthquake? I don't know. She ran and hid back towards her home. While she was running towards her home, a turtle was walking past her the other direction. Hey, Sparkles. How are you doing today? It's going to be another good day, right? No! Something terrible just happened! The whole earth just started shaking, and I'm so scared! I don't know what to do! Oh, well... Um, I, I I don't know. I'm just going to keep on walking, said the turtle. He was not very helpful. But she was right. You see, on this island, there was a real volcano. A volcano that was so tall, it went almost to the clouds. Holy smokes, that is a big volcano. And pretty soon, Sparkles realized that something was not right. Oh, no. Oh, that smells terrible. What is that smell? Did somebody toot? No, nobody tooted. That is the smell of a volcano. You see, when a volcano is about to erupt, it smells really, really stinky. It's something that probably Dr. Stinky Breath wants more volcanoes to explode because they smell so terrible. But Dr. Stinky Breath was not involved this volcano. This was a real eruption about to happen. As Sparkles realized what was happening, she grabbed her walkie-talkie because she needed help. Hello! Bertie! Are you there? Bertie! I need your help! Shh! Hey! Oh, is that Sparkles? That was the voice of Bernie, our dragon friend! You see, Sparkles and Bernie, they had become very good friends over the years. And Sparkles had feared the day that if there was ever going to be a day where the the volcano erupted, she would need someone to come and pick her up and fly her away to a safe place. And Bernie was going to be that hero. Oh, you mean that big volcano is, is finally getting ready to blow? Said Bernie. Yes, it's terribly scary and I don't know what to do! She shouted. Oh, calm down, Sparkles. I'll be right there, said Bernie. Bernie lived not that far away and so it was just a short flight over to the island. As Sparkles was waiting, she had to let everyone know that well, this terrible volcano was about to explode. Hi, everybody! Run! 
explosion! It's about to explode! All the creatures started running towards the ocean to get away. They could all swim, but unfortunately, Sparkles the bunny, she did not know how to swim. And that's why Bernie needed to come save her. She looked up in the sky, and there he was! Bernie, I'm down here! She shouted. Bernie was circling overhead, admiring the lava that was pooling up inside of the volcano. Wow, I just love the smell of lava in the morning, said Bernie. He was a fire-breathing dragon that had accidentally swallowed a piece of the sun, and so he wasn't afraid of lava anymore. If you swallow a piece of the sun, uh, I think you're a pretty brave dragon. As he landed down on the island, right next to Sparkles, Oh, Bernie, I'm so glad that you're finally here, she said. Okay, we'll just hop onto my back and we'll fly on out of here. Sparkles the fluffy bunny crawled up on Bernie's back and they flew off together onto a neighboring island that was very safe. The whole town of all the creatures were able to stand on this other island and watch the volcano explode from a safe distance. It was almost like a fireworks show. And as Bernie and Sparkles sat next to each other on the beach, they ate popcorn and watched the show. Bernie, thank you so much for saving me, said Sparkles. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, inviting me into the show. And that is the end of this amazing adventure between Sparkles and and Bernie. Who knew what an amazing adventure today was going to be for them? The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end and you know what time it is. <coughs> it's time for kid shout outs. I want to say hey to Grayson and Easton, Liam and Jeremy and Violet and so many of my other friends from this Instagram live. You guys created this story and I'm so glad that we were able to do this together. Olivia and Michael, Grayson and Easton, Jason and Annie Joe and Parker. There are so many friends on here. Well, oh, and Daria and Kylo and oh, so many friends. Well, you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.